business takeaway segment, we get one of get guest. We say, oh boy, this guest, they do a lot for the um, um, online space. And as regards training SME, small, medium businesses, she also, they organize a couple of um, trade fairs. Massive, massive um, um, person for the SME space. And now why we reason, I'm saying, okay, we'll just bring her. Um, amazing lady, if you ask me. We'll bring her, we'll discuss exactly how Nigerians and entrepreneurs can make sure, say, they sell online. Gone are the days. Um, where we say you guys get one particular shop or kiosk open and for or get office space, you get them from one corner um, for the street before you start up your business. At this point in time, in the advent of technology, you can make millions just with your smartphones. You can make millions just with internet connection. And now why we bring this lady, um, you go down share, you go down know about her for Instagram and um, the likes of TikTok and Facebook and um, Twitter, um, Niger Branchik. You're very much welcome, Nelly. Um, Mm, Mrs. Nelly, Nelly Abubu. Abubu. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very much welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, yeah. So amazing one. Maybe say you did do out there. Um, if we just sit down, they list all the things. Maybe say you did do. Mm -hmm. um, time no go reach us. Um, you, you're doing a fantastic job, by the way. But then one of the major things maybe say a lot of entrepreneurs need to understand. They say gone are the days. Maybe say you need to open um, a talk shop or get an office mm -hmm. space um, before starting up your business. You can onboard your business online and do a lot online. But then how you feel? Um, how you feel? Um, which, which process you say if you tell Nigerians this step by step procedure as to onboarding your business online, generating sales, and, and all of that? We say they always teach. Okay, um, we already know how COVID hit us. Very true. It was it, something that nobody knew that would happen, and mm. our, everybody's business had to go online. If you don't go online, that payment with your business like mm, that. Yeah. So everybody had to just think on what to do now. Now we're online. The problem is we say that many people don't get visibility. Many people don't know how to make people know, say, oh, we don't reach online, no. Mm. How you feel to know, say, I did sell, waiting, I did sell. That's right. Now, there are many ways we can do it, and I'm going to give you different ways so that these people go understand, so that next time, when they want to do something, they're going to know how to do it. Mm. Number one, first of all, you go ask yourself, where you want to play, which market you want to play. If not shoe and bag, you want to sell. You go ask yourself, which kind of people they, which kind of shoe and bag people go they buy now? Because nobody, um, how will I put it now? Any kind of shoe and bag people go buy. They go look for the price range, where go matter for them, mm. you know. So if you want to go into that business, you go ask yourself which, which kind of shoe and bag they go buy. Okay. What price range where go do okay for them? Because if that price range no do okay for them, it's also going to be a problem for them to buy. So you go also ask yourself if you know where you want to stay. If not premium, you go they meet, you go try to, you know, all those pages where premium people do. You know, you go to guy, uh, you know, join communities and we have a relationship with those kind of people. And if they make posts, you comment, you talk about, nobody say you go, they go, they spam their pages, or go, they write, say, I they sell shoe and bag. No, mm. you go write intelligently, you go talk, say, oh, oh, yes, according to what is happening, you talk about what is happening in your industry. That way, people are going to say, oh, this person gets sense. Yeah. Because now, people get, now everybody they online, everybody now, they know who is trying to scam them from a mile radius. So if you have to stand out, you have to be able to stand out with intelligence and education. So when you start to do that and you start, you know, understanding your market, knowing the price point you want to go, then the next question you go ask yourself is, how much I want to sell in a month? Issue and bag, what I do? I want to do 10 bags. If I do 10 bags, at least I feel fit myself, feed my family, pay everything where I want to pay, mm. get profits, also reback, you know. If you say, okay, now 10 you won't do. So you go ask yourself, how you go get the 10? So what you go do? How, which kind of marketing you go do? Because people know they give themselves targets. When we reach um, uh, uh, Facebook or Instagram, when we reach there, what we, what we are easily dis um, how will I put it now? Distracted. We are distracted with a lot of things that's happening. Trends, yeah, Team, yeah, yeah. Yes, trends that are not necessary. For it's supposed to be, yes. It's supposed to focus on Google trends that are focused on our businesses. We're focused on trends of what, what did this Speaking uh, after. Speaking of trends, give us an example of the Google trends that are focused on businesses, where you just mentioned. That. So the trends that are focused on businesses is all carrying your business online. Hmm. Simple. How do you get your business online? Affiliate marketing is doing a good job this time around. We have business people who are into um, digital courses that is doing a, a good one now. Because one thing I've, you know, I've understood is, okay, is that um, with the, uh, this whole COVID thing that has happened, mm. it has also made people to think, how can I get my business not just on land, which is where we open shop, everything, yeah. not just by sea, where we have to ship it somewhere, sure. but by air. 
How can I get my product to you, even if you're anywhere in the world, without me having to give you something physically, without me having to pass something to you? So that is why every business owner also has to look for an online path where you don't have to trade something else, like physical, for your business. Okay. So let me give you an example. You're selling that shoe and bag. I'm sorry, I'm using shoe and bag. Look, look at me, sir. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using shoe and bag, but yeah, let me use it. Yeah. Let me even use my business. I own Nellis Nigeria, mm. right? And also, I have food business I'm selling. So imagine if I come up and say, I want to start teaching people how to create this kind of food business or how to get NASDAQ for their business, something that you know that people will do, uh, will love. Yeah. And that we have created an arm of my business, which is just digital, on air. I can you know, put it up on one of these um, websites. I sell it, do adverts, sell it, and people will buy from me. I don't need to pay um, rent on that particular product. Mm. All I need is my brain. As far as I have done it well, I'm good at it. You know, somebody wants to learn how am I doing it. The only reason why I'm not creating digital products in my food business is because I already have digital products in my Niger branching business. Mm. So I am a different person. But if I was only doing Nellis Nigeria, I would have said, okay, Make I teach people how to cook gluten-free products. Make I show you how to bake a keto product. Make I do this, make I do that. Do you understand? Mm. That's where I have created another source of income. So as I they cook, they deliver. So last, last, if customers don't come like this, I, another side day, where I feel they, you know, digital they, products, digital yeah. products, where I feel they get money from. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. When we, when we on online, another thing we should also ask ourselves is, how do we want to acquire our customers? If you tell, if you tell business owners, make them take, bring out money markets, then they see them as if, ah, which kind of market? Maybe can I use 10 and market? Mm. They don't see marketing as a very, as an integral part of their business. They see it as something that is just too much to bring out. Mm. Like from day one, if they start a business, as they give money for goods, if they give money for this, if they give money for marketing, mm. they know they think about them. Then they say, okay, make I bring out money, say, make I give Facebook this way. If I give Facebook 10 naira, Facebook will go give me 100 naira back. So that's how you go to think. But they need to think I'm like that. If I go meet influencer, oh yeah, influencer, make you do like this, you go give me this one back. But they know they think I'm like that. They think say now some, that is too much. But at the end of the day, now, your goods, they there. Nobody they buy, nobody they see you, nobody know you. Mm. How you go sell them? You know? So on the next one, also, we go ask, we we'll say, how do you remain profitable online? Because the truth is that if you want to sell online, if you know they make money, you go get discouraged. You go get discouraged. You're going to come to troll where they troll other people. <laughs> You're going to say, this one will get two heads. But like, so I'm waiting my, my, my competitor, they do. You know? So if you, if you want to do your business, you go get, you go, no say, you go do your margins well. Yeah. So you go get profits for what you do so that you go have money to also do your adverts, do other things you want to do. So, and then you also look at what others are doing. Ask yourself, which one you feel do? Because sometimes people just say, oh, um, I, I don't want to try another thing. I just want to do this one. No. Try this, try this, try this. Then you go, no waiting they work for you. Mm. When you know waiting they work for you, stick to it and say, oh, this one, they work for me. If you go to some skincare brands, waiting they work for them, like influencer marketing, they go, um, you know, bring all those uh, celebrities to the market their product. Yeah. They, they work for them. You understand? So look for waiting they work for you. Stick to that one. When you find them, don't allow anybody to discourage you. After they see the money, they come. Some people, they do offers. That is another thing where people know they get. They get offer. Because uh, what I mean offers, I say... Um, promos. Promos, buy yes. Buy two, get one free. One free, do this, do this. Because the truth is that... The way, like, let me make you use Instagram as an example. If yeah. I won't buy your iPad now, or your pad now, from you now, and I come to your DM now, maybe wait till you tell me, say, now, 50,000. I see they think um, the next time I go open Instagram, Instagram will show me another person will go send that, that pad for 25,000. Mm. So your competition day, and Instagram too, wants, want, want, you want interaction. Yeah, analytics, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Because they don't say they look for this thing. So they go, they help us to they look for this thing. So nobody gets the space anymore. Mm. You know, somebody go see, say, oh, big, maybe because of they have many followers, that's why their competitors are weak. It's a lie. Go and check that your, your competitors. They are dancing, shouting. They are educating, they are talking, mm. day in, day out, you know?
Okay. Then another thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just, one, just few sentences. Okay. Yeah. Another one is that yeah. you need to also be consistent in your posting. Oh, okay. I, you know, you want to do online, you go one post one. I say that one go reach for one week. For what? <laughs> Instagram don't they like? Everybody, if you don't post, if you don't post, everything will go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody go see you. Nobody go know you. So you need to be there all the Consistently. time. Consistently. Consistency. Is Instagram, very important. Facebook, Twitter. Every all, every all of them. Which all is of your them. favorite? Of course, it's Instagram. That's Instagram. why they call me Lolo, one of Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so digital product or physical product? Oh, of course, yes, digital products. Fantastic one. Thank you very much, um, <laughs> Nigel you. Branchik. Amazing interview. We say we don't get at this point in time. You don't make my people understand. Say, um, because nobody just say you go post once. You go ask they consistent in your posting and make sure say. Anything where you they sell, make you see the digital aspect of that thing where you see they sell. Digitalize that product so that in case your product no move, the digital aspect of that product will also move. My name is Fagba Frank, and if you catch me across all social media platforms, at Fagba Frank, we will continue the conversation on top of your money, your business, and the economy. No go anywhere, because the good money in Nigeria show continues. Cheers.